Um, welcome everyone out tonight. Get our meeting started. Begin with the approval of minutes. Move approval of minutes. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Was it favor signify that? Uh huh. Oh, same. Bills and payments. <coughs> Second for the discussion. Those in favor signify that. All right. All right. Motion passes. First item under old business is the second reading for the training incentive ordinance. Uh, Kevin has seen past the first reading last month is in the packet. This is effectively the city's what they've been promoting uh, about the last six years now. We've, we've talked about it, we've never really done it. They've got set up where they do all of the tracking. They stand the courts into us. We try to look at it as if you get further along, it's going to require more and more involvement in the commission. Uh, a lot of the legalities and stuff that's going on with it now and the changes, and this is something that we feel is an important way to encourage, not only encourage our commissioners to go to some of these training sessions, but we also realize too that it, it costs something to go to one of these things. We don't big salvage for you guys, but this is something that we can do in the same program. Yeah, maybe we'll cover some of your thoughts. We'd like to do it. So we did have the first reading last month. We we'll just see if you have any questions. Well, I'll just approve the second reading. Then we'll have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? That's going to start probably at the next step of the year. Well, it's, it's all done at the end of the calendar year, so anything would be done would be done in December of next year, so it's a different budget. Yeah, the training could be earlier than that. Yeah. Okay. They've got it in there. They'll, they'll only carry over so many hours before we're going to tax them. Yeah. Yeah. It's 15. Oh, what's this? Oh, you can carry over so many hours. Excess hours during your calendar year shall be permitted to carry forward a maximum. But a training unit is 15, 15 hours. Well, is that like going to KLC and stuff like that? Is that what that oh, means? Yeah. Include some of the grad sessions would probably be covered in it. We've got a lot of separate training units. I don't even know if we do different separate code enforcement stuff. Personnel. Okay, we have a motion to set. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify by that. Opposed, saying. Motion passes. Uh, next item is <coughs> business regional wastewater report. And before we get started, I've got one thing I would like to say. I know uh, Mr. Cox was here at our last meeting, and I appreciate the comments you made. And I know he took some heat from our neighboring city of Hartford over that comment. And when we went to the regional wastewater meeting, I asked point blank when Bob Cox was here on, I think it was October 9th, did the information he gave us correct to the best of his knowledge and what he had been given? And I found out that it was. So Bob didn't make anything up as he was accused of. And I appreciate you being up front with us and hanging in there with us, Bob. Uh, they do meet in the morning. Uh, Harper did present a plan to readjust the rates and do some other things at the last meeting. Uh, they don't normally meet in November, but they're gonna meet in the morning and the plan's gonna be discussed and we'll talk about it. I think that's the main purpose of the meeting. Uh, Larry has advised me that he talked to Andy Long who did our, our study and also did a study for regional wastewater that was never presented to him. And the plan that Hartford has presented is basically the same plan that he, that he had presented never found its way to the board. Uh, there's a copy of it. Larry's got a copy of it. I guess you have a copy of it. If anybody wants to look at it. Uh, I guess a copy from Hartford, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's basically, like I said, Andy's Andy's plan, although they want to redistribute a couple million dollars that uh, the wastewater is accumulated in the bank. I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. If there's ever any expansion needed and, and that money's been distributed, it might be a little hard to get it back. 
if all the cities are not capable of paying it back at the time, somebody might get stuck with a pretty good grade increase out of it. But anyhow, they do meet in the morning at 10 o'clock. I think it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Yeah, if anybody wants to go. And that's about where we stand now. I think before we go too far, I think we need to do a little some checking on it. Like I say, if the race study is something that this is proposed is what, what Andy's working on, and it's Uber, that's fine. I'm kind of like Keith. I hate, I'd love to have the money, don't get me wrong, but we've got money in there. They've been very gracious by giving grants, or not grants, but reducing, discounting the rates over the last, what, two years now? Mm -hmm. Which has been a help to us. Uh, and I think talking to some others that are even on the board, they like the idea of maybe continuing some uh, rebates like that as long as that reserve stays at a certain level maybe uh, because like I say regional way uh, bluegrass crossings can come any day and say hey we've got to have this in six months right. uh, I did talk to some people that's involved with Greta and they're, they're like you know probably about four million dollars to up to Amy for what it would take to get the system to accommodate 500,000 gallons for bluegrass crossings and you're talking probably about four million dollars so if we have three plus in the bank, that would be a great start towards anything like that if we needed it. Uh, so I think there still needs to be some discussion. Oh, also, mayor's assistant is 10 years old. That's that's right. And they normally last around 20 years. So we're going to be having lots of problems in the next few years. And then 20 years will be up before you know it. And like Keith said, uh, you know, somebody could get stuck with a big bill if you just send the money everywhere. No doubt, we'd all like to pay less on all of our bills. And, you know, somebody can figure out some way to do it without causing the system to be a problem, you know. Well, I well, certainly, I know y'all would be for that. <coughs> my, my personal opinion is we don't need to mess with the money that's there. Uh, Just need to do more and find out more. There. And I have no problem with, you know, building a little bit. Right. Maybe not quite as much as fast as it did initially, but, but I like if we can keep at a certain number and keep the rate, right. maybe rebate the rate instead of actually lowering because I know it's easier to work that way. And then if, if that balance were to drop under, it could go back to full price. Right. If it goes up a little more, we can always allocate, say, a $50,000 grant to some of the cities that might need something, you know, at that time, or pay on their bill even. You know, it's good like to have, have it instead of wishing did. And it's then, really like say, Larry's concerns are very valid if you turn that money back over yeah i'd give larry a report that our engineer sent late this afternoon when you joke yeah, our district wastewater district and he said you know you could look at it a lot of different ways but you don't need to get yourself in a bind by doing stuff that just accommodates you today you know right because it, it's going we're going to need it after today well, i guess we will know more after tomorrow i don't know so your all's engineer did get a report back then? Yeah, Larry's got a, had her make well, a copy. Because I was at the October meeting, they didn't know yeah. if he would have time to get it all done. By yeah, if you want to make the mayor a copy no, of it, I, I get a copy of Larry's. It's just a two-page deal. Okay. Well, well, I'm so y'all recommend <coughs> to find out more information and moving along like we are right now and always, I, always open to doing something better. Okay. Good enough. Are you going to add to the wastewater? No. I'm just now reading up what the model is going to do. All right, that would have been a recording action right now. So. Additional comments. We'll start on this end. Bob? Joe? Joe? Okay, Mike? Yes, I have one thing. Uh, some of you may know we have uh, one of our officers that has been offered a uh, letter of employment with Kentucky State Police. Uh, as of look now, his last day would be December the 30th uh, with us. And I'd like to have permission to go ahead and start taking some applications so that we can be prepared uh, whenever he does leave and can have things ready for maybe another officer to go to work January the 7th because we don't want to wait till January and then start having to go through the process and we're without somebody for a month or so. So I'd just like permission to go ahead and start that process. I'm going to motion. Make a motion. Go ahead and start the process. 
So we have most of this. Are we certified, non certified, or certified? Certified. Yeah. Can we have a motion to second? Is there any further discussion? Was it seen by that? Uh-huh. Oh, second. Motion passes. Keith, anything? No, everything. Uh, anything of interest that I have to say will probably be after in the morning. All right, I've got a few things. The first one is Sarah Williams has requested that we put a speed limit sign on East 3rd Street. Um. I didn't drive that one yesterday because whenever I drove the other one, which is, I'd had a request about on East 1st Street. Yeah, East 1st Street. <laughs> There's one going east, but when coming west, I didn't see a speed limit sign. But somebody was decided to drive in the middle of the road and my tire dropped off the road and the, it slipped my tire. So it sounds like we need a little bit of road work on East 1st Street too. <coughs> You're talking about Bruce School Road? The, no, oh, East Star Street. Street, the area of the trailers. In front of Belt, like a old Belt. Yeah, so. Might want to take some gravel or something to put out there. Is it on the road itself or off the road? It's, road. it's yeah. right off the edge. I mean, barely off. If somebody comes in the middle of the road, like they, they were doing this number, and when they got right there, I was like, okay. And I went, pop. So I'll give you my invoice for the new tire, too. <laughs> but if you can check on some, uh, you know, and I said, well, not only do you just need street sign, we need some road work. Road. Shoot, work on the street. Um, but yeah, if, if some gravel or something would help right in there, there's a couple of drop offs. This uh, one's closest yeah. to the trailers. Um, that's pretty neat. And what about getting some street signs on uh, first and third? Some speed limits. And I don't know if on the one on Third Street, if I don't, do, we can't put the ones about kids playing or whatever, can we? Because that can assume a liability for us there. Um, but I'm sure people probably do drive fast going down into the apartments. And then also, Roy Gary had called about his ditch. Have you talked to him about it at all? I drove over by there, but I don't see a ditch along. Yeah, that's what I was thinking it was. So I wanted to ask you about that for sure. To see if it's, yeah, that's what I was, I was thinking probably so. And then what about the signage on the city vehicles? Has that happened yet? And then that's all I have. No, we're in good shape with our bar employees. Uh, okay. And that's good. We got the medium ground down. It's hard. And got the new building. It's looking up and looking good. Did you find any paper? I called him with a message. I got over Kevin Hawkins. He's supposed to be down there to drop some uh, designs. And uh, left message with Tommy Allen on electrical signs. So. It's coming. Looks good. Really looks good. It blends in with the, with the atmosphere. It'll look even better. I think we'll get that stone on there too. Right. To make a match. Offset a little. That's it. All right. Uh, you know, the leaf routes are underway, haven't had many complaints on that. Everything's going very well. Uh, we're actually getting through Monday's route. You know, we've done all Monday's route today, half of Tuesday, so we're way ahead of schedule. Everything's going very well on it. Ashby property is being, uh, being cleaned out, and they've about done it today, so I'm uh, not sure the time frame they're going to be completed, but I'll, I'll go check on that. Uh, I know when we had, uh, when we've hired the fire chief, we had said that we was going to review it after so many months, uh, just to make sure things this billboard going, you know, what we thought would reflect. And uh, we haven't done that since we had hired that position. So I would ask the city to look into it come January. You know, make sure we're building out and recouping in. <coughs> if we didn't turn any in, but maybe uh, reflections or. We have one, one 
insurance company that does not like to pay you whatsoever. And I do like to ask going to the first step for just a few minutes and on some property that shouldn't take very long. Uh, the city hall renovations. We're in a position now we're ready to start bidding. Uh, plans are available. We've got a meeting scheduled here at 1 o'clock next Monday for pre bid. On the meeting, we need contractors, and then we're looking right now to open bids on the Thursday, I believe, December 7th, with the hopes of having everything rounded up so we have our next commission meeting meeting. On, I think December 11th. We can approve or move forward on that. Plans are with it to be able to start January 1 and hopefully be finished by June 15th. Yeah. Yeah. Some interest in that. Some plans already picked up. Yes. So. Four steps. Three's gone and I've got two on my desk waiting for the shipping to. I had to make all this work man. on logistics. Um, we did put it in there. It's kind of the base bid is to do the old fire station first, get a uh, temporary uh, occupancy, and then come over here and start doing on this side. But we've also put in there in, as an alternate to give us a price on the, the amount we go up or down and length of time to do the project go up or down if we turn the whole thing over to the contract and only have the whole area. Basically from that wall that way. Um, like I said, we might be some savings there where we don't need to work at the same time instead of working around stuff a little bit. So we wanted to go that route and at least see what kind of savings we have. And see if it's going to offset the cost because I know we're going to have to relocate these guys for a little while. I don't know if it's going to be six months or just three months. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.